Hey everyone, iOS 14 is here and I would say it's a little bit more interesting than the iOS 13 because of the widgets and all of the visual changes, but I want to focus on the tiny or smaller things or new features and I want to compare and show it to you in this series or this kind of video. So let's get started with the emoji search. I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. It may not seem to be such a big deal, but you don't have to search and scroll through the emojis the way you did before running iOS 13 and older, and you can very easily search for them. So in any area, no matter what you do, if you have the keyboard there, you can click on the emoji sign, and on top of the emojis, you can see we have the search bar, and what you can do is simply type in anything you would want, and you will get the results. But it's a lot more than you would expect. So there are some straightforward things that you you just exactly know how to how to name them so for example you you go something like bed you can see we have bed but you also have the yawning emoji which also indicates that it has to do something with sleeping and you sleep on bed so it's actually nicely integrated and emojis are named not just using one term or just two of them but multiple terms let me show you what i mean by that you don't even have to know like one exact word for the emoji in order to name it and search for it. If you want to get like the eyes, you can type in eyes, which would be the most straightforward thing. You can even type in I, you still get there. You can s type in something like C, you still get the result. You can type in, for example, vision, which is something uh, like the last word that would come to my mind, but whatever. In case this is the first word that comes to your mind, you can easily search for it and get the same result. By the way, I will cover uh, the most important and interesting features of iOS 14 in the next video, so make sure you subscribe to the Apple Fox channel in order not to miss those videos, and also you can support this one with your thumbs up. So yeah, the video can jump up in YouTube algorithm and more people can find it. So now, as you can see, we are in the emoji section and you can see you can even move around. Here are probably the most used ones. We don't know for sure. There isn't like a definite description for it. But if you want to come back to the all emojis in the lower right corner, you have a dedicated button for that and you can get to the regular view of the emojis that you are used to. So you have the same categories, the same everything. You can scroll through them quickly. Uh, it's like activity, food and drink, everything is the same with the difference that now you can search for it. But the thing is that you can even search using colors. Let's say that you, you search for uh, red and you will get all of the red emojis. And it works for all of the colors, so it doesn't really matter what you search. Just keep in mind that it's very easy to get to the uh, one color emoji using searching for that specific color. What's also great about it is that the terms are pretty flexible and the entire thing is pretty flexible. For example, you go like this and you can see it already shows you the clown, even though I didn't type it till the end which is or sounds logical, but it really shows that it's been worked on and it actually works really nice. It's something that you should be able to use in real life. Not something that I show you and then you forget about it because it's easier and more convenient to scroll through it. It's really something that you would actually end up using after your update to iOS 14. And also, for example, you type in OK you get a couple of signs. I mean, for example, this emoji is apparently also called OK. So they tagged individual emojis with multiple titles or multiple headings, names. So this crazy little emoji is actually also called OK. You can see it's a little bit buggy with the with the zoom, but this is first beta, which is incredibly, incredibly fluid, if you ask me. So I want to be able to get there. But overall, considering that this is the first beta, which has been released literally yesterday, it's really fast and fluid. What's also really nice about the search emoji feature is that you can even type in multiple words like a sentence explaining what the emoji is supposed to look like. Tongue sticking out. 
I mean, you can see, you can even type in one sentence and the iPhone, the OS will still try to guess what you mean by this and will give you most of the options that are available. So it's it works pretty well. Like this is exactly what I was looking for. And I even have three options on what to pick from. So I have to say that this works really well. And this is something that I mentioned in the past in my videos, but I only offered you like a third party app for this. So if you have like iOS 13 and still want to access this feature, what you can do is to simply, for example, you're t texting someone and you type one word in, it's going to get underlined and it's going to be uh, orange. And that way, you know that you can tap on it to convert it to emoji, but you don't really have the option to search for it right away. So this is definitely a nice feature. It's not something that everybody talks about. I mean, of course, these widgets are much more interesting than uh, some search feature for emojis, but I want to cover some of these features individually to give you like a visual input and visual feedback on what it's, what it actually looks like, how you can use it, what's the functionality. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss the next videos about iOS 14. I'm Lucas from Apple Vax. Thanks a lot for watching and your support. Of course, smash the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and see you guys later in the next one. Peace out.